na kabenta ke khobor ba man kasmi pet bat subscribe ya u antor news khuble fi baro kini ki loki khobor ba ta kasmi u professor la kon kama we na kino hikai ka school ba ni hu lali thap ko teng ha ko office tre kam deputy commissioner shilok men ha ka arpur tre ku lebe u professor la kon kama u bala pen banai la di ban ya kon ku ko tong shimat ha ka ni ka jinga ko ni ka fp sha ka lok sabha men ta ka kin ti na ka ni ka for shilok st parliamentary constituency Ute ukur tong shimen abaya, ute ukur tong shimen abaya keren sekilap tak kubur wae tu katong jung u bau nuan sekhamat penyak kuni ka election ka day namar bu udon kambun wan ra ya ka jing kala ka jela na ka benta ki samna ki babun ki badon ya ka sab ka pong. Kamat jung u ban mi penyak kun ka day ya ka jing lok kue ka ka jing lok ka pang ka kam tan pot hei ban don ka jing pen bedren ti ya ka kam pen rei. U profesor la kun kama wae tu ba kamat ya kun mp. U profesor la kon kama u yatu ba kamat MP jong u kolong ya ki an kerpang jong kari kamde kamde ban kata ya ki red pad ka jela kum ka CEA ka ILP bat ki we ki we I, Professor Lakhon Kamar, having been nominated as a candidate to fill a seat in the House of the People, which is Lok Sabha, do swear in the name of God and solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established and that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. Thank you. to bring the all round development in our state which has to be through an honest way whereby people can see what you are doing. Today, if you ask me, my MP, what he has done in the last 15 years, probably none of you will be able to say he has done one, two, three, four, five, six, nothing. In my time, from day one, like I said, you will find a list of it. You know exactly where things has been done. You can visit and tell me. This estimate is you have made for 10 lakhs, but look like you have spent only 2 lakhs. Then I will be at fault, and that's why I'm saying because when I write article and when I when I express myself, I cannot be the one only blaming others. I have to also set an example, and that's what I'm saying. In my regime, if anything that public finds it is not worth the estimate that I've done, you come and tell me. Once I'm your your, your MP, that you have eaten public money, and I'm saying it not to just you know uh, send a wrong message here. I'm saying with full dedication and honesty that I will work like no one else have ever done. And this is what I'm saying. I want to set an example because I have a vision for the next 15, 20 years. I, how exactly it will be uh, panning out that I will tell maybe after the election. But right now I have set my eyes very straight on the goal that if people put their faith in me, I will be able to do what needs to be done. More important of course is because you all know MP's job is in Delhi. Delhi is where you have to decide because, you know, most of the time all the rules, regulations that will be coming and the kind of act and uh, they will be created, they will be created in the floor of parliament. Like we have seen in case of CA and I have very serious, serious reservation with CA, but it got passed in 2019 and the rules have come out just before election, which have two issues. One, it doesn't, it is eating away all of our, our job prospects. Already this country, this state has poor, poor ratio of job seekers to the jobs that are available. You bring in foreigners from Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh simply because they can say that we have been prosecuted by Muslim people in that country, you are allowing influx and you are seeing that they should be the one who have entered let's say before 31st of December 2014. What guarantee is there? Because they say you don't need travel document. How do we know somebody has entered yesterday and he certified that he gets a certificate from the country that I have been prosecuted and he says, you know, you know in this country you can get a passport done within no time. Getting a fake ID of Afghanistan, Pakistan or Bangladesh is no big deal. We know it. I've seen many fake PhD degrees have been given. Thesis has been sold in, in many, many parts of this country. Getting a certificate, you all will agree that is not a big deal. So hence, I have serious observation. Number two is, we are actually compromising with the security of this country. Say, for example, a, 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 a Muslim man, 
I'm not, I'm not generalizing, but I'm saying this a Muslim man who is a militant, staying in Afghanistan or Pakistan, or let's say Bangladesh, but Bangladesh is quite peaceful these days, so we will not worry much. But let's say from Afghanistan and Pakistan, he is a Muslim man who is a terrorist. Not all Muslims are terrorists, so let me make it very clear so that you don't, don't quote me wrongly. But suppose a terrorist enters and he has bad motive against this country. He shaves his hair, he cleans his beard, he puts a tikka here, he puts a saffron dress, and he says, I'm a Hindu. Allow me to enter your country. Let me. I have entered this country before 31st of December 2014. And he has an ID of Pakistan or, Bang or, or Afghanistan or Bangladesh. How will you prove? There is no way. Because it says you don't have to produce any travel document. Simply say that I have been prosecuted and you have an ID of the country. That's all. And both these are so flimsy that anybody can misuse. I'm worried that through this CAA, we might end up getting in flux of terrorists in this country who will leak secret information from this country pretending to be a, a Hindu, a, a Christian, a Sikh, a Jain or a Buddhist because they are not allowing Muslims so we leave them apart. They will say that we have been prosecuted and they will pretend to be one. They will be in the disguise of having these religion and say that I am being prosecuted by Muslim brothers in my language of this country and I want our youth to learn it Make sure that you exploit it to the fullest because I worry that bearing maybe few smaller role here and there, we don't see our people in the mainstream industry. People from Africa, from Asia, from outside the Indian subcontinent, from US, from UK, they come and work in our uh, movie industry. I don't see why we, being Meghalaya, how long it takes us to reach to Mumbai, maybe three, four hours at the most. But because they have all that, and I believe this is what I have always uh, realized that. Our kids today, I'm talking about today, maybe my generation is gone, so I can't really say much about it. But the current generation has full of talents. They can sing well, they can dance well, they can act well, they are good in, in you know, extempo, they are good in their academics, they are good. They can be good scientists, good engineers. Why we only restrict that they should look for government job or they should be scientists or doctors? Let them explore. Suppose somebody is born with the talent to be a good artist. Please go ahead. If somebody is born to be a sports person, we will, I will, my NDO has been and I have put it in one of my mission that I will provide the best possible training, whether it is nationally or if need be internationally, that those kids who are really having the potential to be medal winners, let's say in Asian Games, Commonwealth Games or in the in Olympics, we don't give them that kind of training. Where will our kids get that kind of exposure? My priority will be that those kids who are not interested much in academics but more interested in the sports, we will create world-class facility within our state because you know we have money it's just that we are lacking the willpower and the honesty which which i always say and i always stress and that's why one of my very main agenda that i adopted is a zero tolerance policy on corruption and corrupt practices which means if public gives me a chance i will show them by example and i'm saying it not because i want to media is present here and you will telecast it in the in the whole of the state of Meghalaya. But I'm saying it because I will set an example. I'll give you a very, very clear cut message how, how it will work. Say, for example, I don't know how many of you have ever seen how MDC scheme, MLS scheme, or MP schemes we have. I have already created a website in my name, which is www.lakhonkumar.com, L-A-K-H-O-N-K-M-A.com. I will create one folder there if I'm elected to know from day one to the last day of the fifth year what all work I have done, what is the estimate, what is the actual cost, where is the UC, where is the photographs, where is the location. Nobody needs to file RTI in my regime and this is what I'm saying. I have to, I cannot point fingers on all those who are existing politicians because I come as a teacher of university. If I don't show a new light, a new way of thinking, I think it's no point for me getting down in the field. I have come here not to really become a normal, ordinary politician. No. If it was this, I would have joined any party and then support any candidate or ask for a ticket. No. I have come here to show that if with 